The Politics of Beauty and Monstrosity. In his book, Philosophy of Horror, Noel Carroll observes that monsters, quote, are beings or creatures that specialize in formlessness, incompleteness, categorical interstitiality, and categorical contradictoriness. Horrific monsters often involve the mixture of what is normally distinct, close quote. In a more recent piece, Carol turns to affinities binding humor and horror as conventionally configured antitheses, or if you wish, oppositions to beauty. He notes that both horror and humor root themselves in the terrain of the ugly. For example, the not beautiful clown and the not quite human monster, and in category violations for creatures of horror. For example, the simultaneously alive and dead, animate and inanimate human and animal, for example. Carroll's comments on the unseen political effects of seemingly value-free aesthetic pronouncements are instructive, and I quote him, If beauty, that is, the perfect realization of the concept of the human, rhetorically implies goodness, then ugliness and category violation encourage the suspicion of evil and moral deceptiveness. Where beauty can be used to valorize, horror and humor can be used to dehumanize and vilify. And for that reason, there are diabolically effective levers of ethnic and racial hatred, ones that operate pretty close to our nerve endings. Close quote. This has been adapted from one of my books, Remaking the Frankenstein Myth and Film Between Laughter and Horror published by the State University of New York Press in 2003. This is Dr. Picard. For more information, go to www.carolinekaypicard.com.